<laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, so that's me. I didn't put even my name there because I am only alone here. So what I did is this Carpentry Translation Infrastructure. As you can see, there is other three languages there just to persuade the judges into their languages. Uh, Nicoletta, I know that that's Carpentry as wood, but well, you know, that's the worries of translating something without you knowing the language. Anyway, so the problem is that there's the world and there's a lot of languages and here is only just showing the most popular languages and the discussion around the world and the carpentry material, the software carpentry and data carpentry is only in the kind of pinkish um, so here, here, there and these islands down there um, but note about the rest so there is some people working on the software carpentry lessons in Spanish and there have been some uh, efforts somewhere around in other languages as well but it's tedious and, and kind of a at the end, the people get bored because you, you have to do it in a way that is not uh, sustainable. So, what I've done is this uh, Sour Carpentry I18N. The 18 is because of the number of letters between I and N. And the, what it's, this is kind of a model so we can show to the Sour Carpentry people and say whether they want to adopt this thing. So, a, one thing, this is PO4 Gitbook. That's something that was done already, it was not done by me long time ago was to take, get these markdown files into these PO files, which is what they use for translation. However, these were kind of abandoned uh, software and it didn't work with software carpentry material, so I have to modify that. And I did that even before coming here, long time ago, so that doesn't count as I did today. What I did today was here, where all the magic happens, which is what it connects everything, it connects all the repositories, and more or less happen in, this, in such a way. So you have a lessons, repository well, repository and that it connects with the other repositories each of them uh, sorry the i18 uh, repository we connect with the other lesson repositories and then there's this tool that you run there and it can uh, get this uh, PO files and I will show you an example in a second then with Travis uh, like you get different uh, pull requests and stuff and you get those things merged and with Travis you can uh, produce the little repositories at the end of the, for the Spanish, French, Italian, Greek, whatever you want, and you get a dashboard, like some say like how many things have been translated. Right, so this is how a tool works for translating. So, I don't know, you see, well, you cannot read much, but uh, that's how the Windows uh, the GUI works. You have a original text, the translated text, so you have, for each section, you have what you right there, you have other tools that help you to keep a, a, an eye of what is the glossary, what is the common words that you use, so you keep a consistency through the files. Um, so, there's a pull request already, that was mine, uh, but the cool thing of doing it this way is uh, that you can have reviewers, as the reviewers for the translation, then you can have uh, assignments, assignees, as the editors of that particular lesson, and you can have labels, so you can have different colors for different translations of different language and different details and all in the same kind of a repository. Cool. So that's the dashboard at the moment. Not beautiful, it doesn't have colors, but it says 46 translated messages, 464 untranslated messages. They, it's not all, that's what they managed to do by copy and pasting from the people that have translated it. But the idea is that you get all the same with all the different languages and stuff. And that page works, so you can go there and see what happens. Uh, for the near future, future, near future, so that says after today, I will go and tell to the mailing list of the tra translators <coughs> today in, in software carpentry and say, hey, I have that here, let's play with it. Let's see how you find it, how you like it, whether it's too um, cold, likely, or annoying, or it's better than what you had before. From the future, future, uh, kind of Pythonize all the, I have a couple of bash scripts in the repository. It will be better making it happy as Python, use the GitHub API as well, uh, write some tests for those things, write some tests for this code that I adopted that we just kind of abandoned, and have a bot for the GitHub for the pull request, so you can get some kind of, something like the code, bot, code cough um, report, but for the translation, so you see how much you have translated in your pull request. And finally, get a lot of transtributors. Um, yeah, I think that's all, so. There you go.